What I didn't tell you is the same year I lost all of my grandparents, that same year I got diagnosed with high blood pressure at 16. 16. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I got diagnosed. I was going on a routine physical to play sports, and the nurse told me, she was like, your blood pressure is elevated. So she was like, you got to come back tomorrow. Came back tomorrow, still elevated. Came back the next day, still elevated. She mm. was like, you got high blood pressure. Now, this is despite the fact I only had like 5% body fat. I was yeah. super athlete. Didn't even matter. Okay, so I got diagnosed when I was 16. All right, fast forward, graduate from pharmacy school, go through this whole upheaval of looking at basically my community working in the hospital, people in their 30s come in with heart attacks, strokes, etc. And I'm thinking to myself, well, what is going on? I got high blood pressure at right. 16. I'm seeing people in their 30s have strokes and heart attacks. That's probably going to be me. Yeah. What is the real issue? Because I'm like, whatever we're doing is not working. Mm -hmm. The food industry is not working. The medical industry is not working. I'm in it, but I know it's not working. I yeah. can see it. It's yeah, not working. Sure. So I said, I got to step outside of the box and figure out what's really going on. And as I'm like trying to figure out what's going on, the only thing I could point to was A, we're toxic. You know, being working as a food chemist, I get to see it. Yeah. You know, being a chemist, I get to see that we use specific machinery that I literally use like gas chromatography or spectroscopy. And I can literally see what points in the brain are inflected when you eat certain foods. And then I can take that information and make a synthetic version of a real food. So that's, that's wh this is why you can get you know, watermelon chips. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so like, as I'm thinking about that, I'm like, damn. I know what it is. In my undergrad, we learned two sides of chemistry. Inorganic, which is synthetic chemistry, and then we learned organic, mm -hmm. which is us living life. Yeah. I'm like, I'm on the wrong side of chemistry. This is man-made chemistry. The food is chemistry. The medicine is chemistry. Yep. It's all man-made chemistry. I'm on the wrong side of chemistry. Let me go on over to the living side of chemistry, which is biochemistry. Yeah. Wow. The food needs to be living. The medicine needs to be living. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where's living food? I had to redefine that. Living food is something that still has life in it, okay? Got it. If you overcook it, it's now dead, okay? Oh, okay. So Even if you overcook it. Because so it's almost the, like raw vegan or raw? That's the highest form of food. Okay. Because the highest temperature I think ever recorded on Earth was like 138 degrees. So anything above 138 degrees is going to cook it, right? Yeah. All right, so I'm like, all right, so I need to eat living food, okay? That's biochemistry. Mm. What is living medicine, okay? Herbs. That's the medicinal medicine. Yeah. I mean, you read the Bible. Herbs yeah. were made for the healing of the earth. Yeah. Okay, and then it told us what the food was, Genesis 1 and 29. It said, I will give you every seed-bearing tree to have its fruit. So it told us what the food was. It told us what the medicine was in the first chapter. And you didn't need to even go past that to know what the food was. So I said, all right, that's what I'm doing. Mm. I'm going to eat real live food. I'm going to use herbal medicine. And I had already got like a herbal certification in mm -hmm. pharmacy school. Got it. And so I just applied that and remembered a lot of the things that I used to see on my great grandmother's farm mm -hmm. and put the detox together. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check this next video out that's right here.